to the latest on the building collapse in Surfside and honoring heroes. This morning, members from Florida Task Forces were recognized for their tireless efforts more than eight months ago. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live in Surfside with more on this honor for those heroes. Brooke. Hey, Candace, about 100 men and women got these coins today. They're calling them challenge coins. On one side, it says words like integrity and respect. On the other side is a picture of a partially collapsed condo in Surfside. The emotional toll, it's something. It, it takes a toll after so much time. Miami-Dade firefighter Frank Garcia and his dog Zoe were some of the first to race to the condo collapse in Surfside. On June 24th, 2021, he got the phone call around 2 a.m. A building had collapsed in the middle of the night. We, we train and we train all year long and there's no way to be prepared to that level. On Tuesday, Garcia and about 100 other men and women from Florida Task Forces 1 and 2 were honored for their tireless work eight months ago. These search and rescue teams, the first ones on the ground. They worked 12 hour shifts in the Miami summer. They fought Hurricane Elsa, cutting rebar, cutting concrete. Their work in Surfside was painstaking and tedious. Search teams recovered close to 100 bodies. On Tuesday, CFO and State Fire Marshal Jimmy Patronis recognized the emotions that went into the days of search and rescue. At the same time they were doing this, they were picking up wedding pictures and children's toys. In a special ceremony in Miami-Dade, each first responder got a handshake and a challenge coin. A thank you for the heroes among us. On that mountain of rubble, I saw hell on earth, but also saw some of the best of what mankind has to offer. Incredible work, and we are still remembering it eight months later. Also today, Candace officials were pushing for even more funding for these search and rescue teams. I'm live in Miami-Dade, Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News.